Hello YouTube, there is a small little update from the garage. I didn't manage to get everything done that I planned this weekend since I had to do some other stuff during the daytime. But uh, during the evening I managed to get something done or some stuff done here in the garage. And as you can see I temporarily mounted the 500 watt brushless DC motor to this uh, temporary adapter plate here out of aluminium that I made and nothing fancy really but nice to see it spinning this brushless motor runs runs super nice actually was some uh, was some uh, took some time to get the right tension on the belt I'm still not sure whether if this is good enough or not but it feels like it it will do had to put some some stuff in between here to kind of uh, raise the tension on the belt tried with a lot of stuff but eventually I made a 10 millimeter thick little aluminium stick that I pushed in there and that seems to be just perfect so tomorrow I will make a bit of a nicer aluminium plate and as you can see this pulley here is mounted onto a shaft that is tightened into an ER collet and that ain't too good so I will machine a small puller on the router out of some tool steel when it's improved and try to pull this one off so yeah that's pretty much much uh, that this adapter plate here I bolted it uh, down with one screw here and one large one M10 down here and it was already two threaded holes so I didn't have to mess with the cast iron which the, th the walls on this red box here are very thin so nice to avoid interfering with uh, the cast iron here if it's possible otherwise it might crack I'm a bit afraid of that so I will need to to can we get some autofocus bitte there we go I will need to buy a small I don't know what it's called in English but direct translation from my language is lock I don't know what it's called but it's something I think I got one over here <laughs> it looked like this so I need to to buy this one is, is a bit too small it's for ball screws but I need to buy a large one that will go into this groove here and be that one I suspect will be inside here to keep this one from from uh, being pressed out so when I have that one I can make some kind of handle here and then it should be kind of ready for, for some lighter operation perhaps also need to buy some uh, screws with uh, camphored edges or what is called 
as you can see the screw head is sticking up here so this one won't be able to get past it so yeah I also need to cut this steel plate here but I already told you three times about that so perhaps I won't mention that anymore and uh, yeah the lathe haven't uh, done anything with it at all except for I ordered some belts and pulleys so that I can hopefully mount the hybrid stepper motors pretty soon plan is to buy a small table for it and uh, try to place it uh, somewhere here I will have to move this shelf this is pretty much my spot that I got here in Grand Pass Garage so after that the plan is to clean it off and uh, and start machining some uh, mounting plates here for the hybrid stepper motors and yeah then try to keep it try to get it going as fast as possible I also worked some on the linear rail upgrade for my router and what I had left to do was to drill these holes here to bolt this plate down onto the rail blocks and I did that yesterday, I didn't record it though since it was pretty late and I was super tired but yeah this one should be ready to get mounted it moves kind of heavy it moves smooth but uh, with some resistance one can feel that it's heavy duty so it will be interesting to see if my little NEMA 23 stepper motors will be able to to move these or slide these rails but I guess that we will see about that so this is a pretty heavy piece as well so yeah what's left to do now is to get all the chips out of the enclosure and from the router take the gantry out put it on the table here and bolt the sides of the gantry onto here and from behind into the gantry so pretty close for getting it together but will be interesting to see if my poor NEMA 23s will be able to, to slide rails I'm a bit worried about that we will see that was pretty much it super happy about this one but I don't like the aluminium hopefully I will be able to machine every adapter plate out of um, cast iron so that there will be no aluminium on this little manual mill alright time for me to go to bed I think it's pretty late this evening as well so yeah take care and if you are new to my channel very welcome to subscribe and also, if you like my videos, please time, press, press thumbs up. Alright, see ya.